What's going on guys? Zed here. How are you all doing today? Hopefully everything is fantastically mousy. Amazing for you guys as per usual. Now, Ryzen. Ryzen 5. I know. Great processors as it is. Fantastic. But as per usual, I've always got to take it a little bit further than, than anybody else. So yes. We are going to be overviewing this in the test bench. Is this really for the budget gamer? Can it really handle everything that everybody's hyped it up to be? It's going to have to stay tuned. So here we have it, the Ryzen 5 2400G. Now a completely brand new naming system, even though Ryzen 5 is not kind of new at all. But what we're gonna be doing is we're just gonna be taking out the box is I'm gonna install it into the benchmark, in, no, install it into the benchmark, <laughs> install it into my test bench in which we will do in this video. Then what I'm gonna do, gonna go away, have a few runs to test with it. I'm gonna do two separate parts of RAM. I'm gonna do a um, 2666 megahertz and of course a 3000 megahertz kit in which both I have and available at this moment in time. So let's pop this little guy out of the box and you obviously know what you're going to get, obviously, but but yes, it's it's always fun because I like to use my knife as it is. So I need to leave it unsealed at the moment. So what you do get in the box, as pretty much everybody is aware by now, because you've seen umpteen unboxings, you get the Wraith Stealth Cooler, and of course this little package, which is obviously your Ryzen 5. 2400 looking absolutely lovely shining in the light and basking in all of it shut up Zed for fuck's sake <laughs> but yes we're going to be installing this inside of the test bench which is of course we won't be needing the uh, stealth cooler so pretty much this is the only thing that we're going to be doing for this part so bear so guys basically what we're going to do just now is we're going to remove the um, Ryzen 5 1600X from the motherboard and we are going to be placing in this absolutely gorgeous APU just here as you guys can see right here right now. So let's get on with it, shall we?
So it's probably at this point that you guys can actually see that I've I've actually loaded up the BIOS. Now this was the first time that I've ever kind of learned how to um, how to load up a BIOS and everything else and be able to capture it at the same time. Luckily enough I've got an Elgato so basically I just went through the settings on there and I got everything to boot up perfectly. Uh, I would say on the first time but I'll be lying. So yeah. Go through the BIOS here, as I say, just, just literally having a little look around and just going through the first boot process for, of course, this AP. As you can see, everything's pretty much set to stock. You got a three, um, three point zero uh, stock clock as it is. Uh, just going through here with the easy tuning wizard, uh, button on water cooling, everything else like that. Just getting everything prepped, and of course, my my RAM's even clocked to twenty one thirty three. I got this CPU directly up to 4.13 and I posted that on my Twitter, so if you guys do not follow me on Twitter, have a look at that as it is there. And as you can see, first off, going through, going to do a stock clock run on Cinebench as it is, and this is the beginning of the benchmarks for you guys. Now with this, this is all speeded up simply for the fact of it does get quite long. Now the games and tests and everything else that I did, yeah, they, they took a little bit and everything else, but I'll be able to pop them in. Ram loves uh, blah blah. <laughs> Shove some music over it and everything else, and it'll all look good for you guys. But it did take a hell of a long time. It took me a good four hours and everything else to get everything up and running. No problems to do with the um, the APU or anything else like that. It was just basically a long, long testing process, like what to capture, how to capture it. Normally, people would actually do this with graphs and everything else, but yeah. What I did find, and what I am going to disclose here, that I'm using a 1050 Ti, a GTX 1050 Ti paired with this APU, and my goodness, this is the way forward for, of course, budget gamers on a budget at this moment in time. Scores are not that fantastic, but oh, going on from that, we go into um, what one of my favorite games for zombies and everything else, which is Black Ops 3. Now, I set everything to high here. Now, bearing in mind, this is not just with the Vega graphics, it is basically the Vega graphics with the GTX 1050 Ti. I am going to stress that. That is the only testing that I have done this one in time simply because of, of course, constraints and everything else on, on the time frame as I had things to do. Um, so just going through, as I say, the frame rate counter is pretty much showing it around about just up to that, that 60 sweet bot. And sweet bot. No, 60 sweet spot, shall I say. And <laughs> basically what, um, uh, 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 yeah, zombies as it is just now. So yeah, these are these are general, just speeded up things. As I say, it's I only tested one map because that's all you really need for this type of thing. But as I say, GTX 1050 Ti, currently priced around about £120 UK. Convert that to dollars. This, of course, coupled with this Ryzen 5 2400G for 170 Yeah. That's pretty awesome, and that's the general kind of budget that majority of um, gamers would be looking to go for. I mean, bloody hell. The Vega graphics gives the 1050 Ti a significant boost in this, as I say, and it, it really is phenomenal because you're using the onboard as well as the GPU as well. It's It really is good. I'm very, very impressed with the results as it is, but... But yes, anyway, I'm going to carry on playing you some few other th few other clips. Got GTA, PUBG, uh, Fire Strike, User Bench, etc., etc. Feel like I linger, linger between the words to say, eh? to say the words you remember. Now we're here to take control over your body and over your soul. We're gonna take back everything and lose it all, lose it all.
few more days to slay It's gonna get so much louder Now we're here to take control Over your body and over your soul We're gonna take back everything and lose it all Lose it all So in summary then, what can be the outcome of, of 
today's test and everything else. Well, first things first, I want to apologize for the frame counter not populating on Black Ops 3. You got around about 56 to 62 FPS on that. In PUBG, which was running really, really well, around about 70 to 65 FPS for that. But the other ones did have um, captures on them. So basically with that, I do apologize that I do not know what the hell Shadow Player was playing at. Maybe I didn't enable a setting or something, something rather random like that. Now, with what we're doing here is I'm just going through some random benchmark tests as it is stressing the CPU, seeing what kind of utilization we can get out of her and everything else. But what I want to do now is I want to apologize to you guys, okay? I really do. I haven't uploaded and everything else for absolutely ages simply for the fact of I am, or even I was in quite a bad place as it was. So I didn't have, I, I've lost my job at the moment. Hence why I've been doing a lot of streaming over on Twitch, by the way, guys. Please come out over and check out my Twitch channel. It's where I do my daily, ga daily game streams and everything else. It's quite a good platform to to be on this and also if any of you guys have got dtube come over and follow me on that i'll leave all of these things in the description below as it is but one thing that this is primarily focused on that's that's everything kind of cleared up from me as it is the main focus for this is i would recommend this cpu definitely as i say pair it with a 1050 um, gtx 950 ti gtx 950 example anything else like that would be ideal but that's really all i've got time for as it is for just now guys i'm gonna say my farewells for just now more videos coming more future content and everything else but as always zed out <laughs>